Well, I just had these pumped up, and these are, these are um, inner tubes. Look at this. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to blow this one up for you and show you all about it, how much it costs, what type of pump we use, and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to watch that, and that, and that one was this one. We've got also a double one, but this particular video is not going to be about the double one. It's going to be about the single one. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, I'm going to get back. I'm going to get inside the car, start the car up, and see if that will start this uh, cigarette lighter connection. Isn't that ridiculous? Having to start the car in order for this to work? I, maybe that's how you have to do it nowadays. Let's see here. They had, it had two other little fittings. Maybe these fittings are for, for blowing up different things. You know, I'm gonna keep those off and just use the full end. And uh, unless there's a different, uh, thing here, maybe, uh, okay, let's see, got screws in there, I guess I just set it on there, and fire it up. next with one of those fittings. I didn't take too long. That's like the Oh, okay. There. That was, that was okay. Okay, now this looks like it's a small end that you have to blow up by hand, but we use this other little fitting with the smaller tip, and I think I can stick that in there.
Isn't that something? A cigarette lighter that you have to have the car running. Let's try this again. Yeah, see nothing. That, they must do that uh, for a safety feature. Because I sort of thought years ago, you didn't have to do that. Now, it looks, it looks absolutely pretty sturdy. It's got, a, it's got a mesh on the bottom of it. See right here. And there's room to put uh, a can of drink there and one over there. And here's, here's little rope connections on the sides where you can take your, your little rope clip, I guess. These right here. I guess uh, I'd have to look at that, but it comes with that. You probably hook those in there and then tie the rope from one to the other. I thought it would be a, like a quick connect piece, but uh, you know, you can, you can figure that out, right? And Momi kept saying, no, I need to get some paddles. And I said, no, you don't need any paddles. With something like this, get in it, get in it, and you should be able to just use your arms. You can be like this, or you can sit up a little bit, Maybe use that just for your back instead of your head, and then you can paddle and direct yourself. Yeah, your butt's gonna get wet, but that's okay, you're in the water, you know? Hey, it's, I know it's gonna be cold. I know it's gonna be cold for him, but, oh, that's way better than the old days. I remember, you remember going down a river with just a, 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 an inner tube. This is, this is a little bit better than, a, uh, than an old school inner tube. I think they'll like that. Now I was going to see if that will fit in the back of the car. I measured, I measured the back of the car and it was only like 40, 40, uh, 45, 46 inches, you know, in the back, but then it goes up bigger. Uh, and this, this says it's like 53. Let's see what this says. 53 inches, okay? 53 inches, and that's gonna be 53 inches in diameter. Let's get this open. And obviously, in every SUV is different, right? And so, when I measured this before, it's like, it was like 40, 48 inches or so. Um, Yours might be different, but I measured in here about 48 inches. But but see, then it's got then it goes up higher over here, and so I was hoping maybe to fit at least one in here. And then and then when Mommy gets to the river, uh, maybe she only has to uh, blow up that double the two man one. I will just see if this is gonna fit. Let's see. Put this in at an angle. Oh, yeah, see. I mean, she could, she could, she'd have to put it up like that. But then, actually, actually, I think it'll fit. Go the other way. I wanted to see if she could fit one of these in, and um, then she can still look out the back, and that, I believe that will still fit with the door closing down. And uh, I think she'll be good. I mean, worst case scenario, you can put this, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not gonna fit all the way. I think it will, because she can't fold the seats down, because one person's got to sit in the back. Because I thought, I thought it would kind of go up above there, but, it's not, I mean, the other thing is, if you can't fit yours in all the way, you can let a little bit of air out, and then you could scrunch it in there. Then when you get there, you won't have to pump the whole thing up. But you, you saw, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take that much to get it in there, or to blow up, even if she doesn't have it blown up uh, before she gets there. That, that should fit, right? Okay, and the double one, 
you'll see, you see the measurements on there uh, for the double was 90, 93 by 62, I think, something like that. That looks nice and strong. I feel, I feel comfortable that she'll be able to take that down the Truckee River. And the Truckee River from Sacramento is a couple hours up Highway 80, and then you hit uh, North Lake Tahoe exit and go up that way. And uh, see, here's, here's the double one, 95 and a half by 62. Okay, so that's a lot bigger. I'm gonna end up pulling that one out here in a minute. Okay, but uh, uh, let's see how quick this, this air goes down, just for kicks. All right, you know, that wasn't as hard as I thought everything was gonna be. I'm glad I did a little dry run before Momi takes these down the river. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.